Here they are, if you had to describe new X-Class phones, you'd use a lot of the same language people used last year to describe the iPhone X, today's phones and cameras can do that automatically and the new iPhones take the concept a step further, not only combining multiple exposures but performing dozens of other analysis and adjustment steps in the process. You don't notice anything different in some shots but when there's the potential for a blown out sky or mudded up dark area, there's a big improvement. Check out the blown out clouds in the lower photo, especially on the right, second, when you edit one of these photos, you now get a slider that lets you specify how much blur you get. It's not a new idea Samsung Galaxy has a similar feature but it's super useful, especially when the phone's instinct is to blur out a detail, like a companion in your group. In a software update this fall, you'll also be able to adjust the degree of blur before you take the shot. Here's what else is new, can you imagine spending $1,450 on a phone, and discovering that you have to pay $9 more for a dongle to plug in your favorite headphones? It's too bad the iPhone XR is delayed. For a lot of people, getting all the premium, top-of-the-line technologies in a $750 phone, instead of $1,000, will be a very attractive proposition. If you're ripe for an upgrade, the XR may be worth waiting for. So you can look at this year's Hue phones in two ways, both reactions are legitimate. If you've got a 2017 iPhone, you have the luxury of knowing you're not missing out on much. But if you've been thinking that it's time to upgrade from an older phone, you have the luxury of knowing you've got the very best. David Pogg, tech columnist for News Pulse Finance, welcomes comments below. On the web, keys. On Twitter, keys at Pog. On email, he's Pogister at News Pulse. You can sign up to get his stuff by email, here.